underneath that both of you look around it, satisfy yourself that there's nothing that might force it to move or rock or tilt or lift. Go ahead, examine it as carefully as you possibly can. It is simply a table. There's nothing additional to it. Am I correct about that? Great. Now, this is a standard uh, Pizza Hut soft drink cup. I would like you please to take a look at it. It's a 22 ounce soft drink cup. It is completely empty, yes? Good. And uh, if you would please pick up that broom behind you. This is your basic Walmart quality broom, which is to say cheap plastic junk. It is hollow, costs about four bucks at Walmart, plastic, there's nothing that rolls around inside that might cause it to tilt your list. Am I right about that? Great. Because this little experiment is about visualization. It's about creating an image in your mind that is so real and so vivid that it almost cannot help but become real in everyday life. I'm going to start by balancing the broom as gently as I can get it across the edge of the cup. I'm trying to create what I would call a makeshift watch face, so that just like the hands of a watch would be free to spin or turn, I want the broom comfortably enough balanced, gently enough balanced, that it can also spin. Perfect. Now, if we stomp on the stage, nothing happens. We blow on it, nothing happens. Even going to button up my jacket, you think there's little blowers coming out of the jacket that can make something happen. Next thing I want to do is borrow a man's wristwatch, but I do want it to be an analog watch, a watch that has hands. Could you bring that up for me, please, sir? Right up to the edge of the stage. Excellent. Good. And give me your name. Dean. Okay. Let's take a look at Dean's watch. Um, step in here. You represent the crowd. Let's get this in the bright light. Can you make out the time on the watch? Can you be as specific as you possibly can? I'm really bad at reading this thing. Yeah. <laughs> Seven. Oh, She's pointing to the second hand right there. 9.36. Okay. Perhaps we should bring it over to this side. And can you verify it's about 9.36? It is. Okay. I want you to be dead sure. 9.36, right? Yeah, it's shiny. Okay. Are you right hand or the left hand? Hold in your left hand. Palm up for me, please. Please make a fist around the watch. Put your other hand on top. You're going to stand there and you're going to watch me from this side. You will make sure I do not bump against the broom, that I do not blow against the broom. We're at really bright light, so if, if there were anything connected between me and the broom, you would know. You're going to watch from your side. I'm going to imagine that there's a watch in my mind spinning way out of control, like seven or eight hundred minutes an hour. When I get that image clear and I feel the energy from it, I'm going to try to project that energy downward. Give me a few seconds to collect my thoughts, and trust me, if I get it right, you will know it. <laughs> okay, let's give this a shot. One more try. <laughs> Pretty weird, huh? <laughs> Now you guys are up here with me and you know a few things. I didn't touch it. I didn't go anywhere near it. You've been watching from your side, nothing connected between me. Everything I've been focusing on consciously, you've been focusing on unconsciously. And my imaginary watch moved back in time. Your watch had been set at what time? Please take a good close look. What time? Did you, what, what is the time on your watch right now? Nine fifty-seven. Nine fifty-seven. My watch moved about fifteen minutes. Your watch moved almost twenty minutes. Dangle from my fingertip. I don't want to touch it any more than I have to. Just dangle from my pinky. I want to bring it over to you so you can verify the time on the watch. Is it about nine fifty-seven? It is. Absolutely, sir. Time on your watch. 9.57? Yeah. That is yours to keep as a souvenir. <laughs> but 
Whatever you do, don't sleep in the same room with it tonight. <laughs> that part's a joke. We give him a big round of applause for something.